What's up, people? This is Daniel at night slash Daniel at lunch because uh, I work third shift. Um, a whole bunch of shit's been happening. <laughs> I haven't done one of these in a long time. So, uh, I didn't watch the Battlefield fucking 5 trailer or the Black Ops 3 or whatever the fuck it is, 4, whatever. Um, because, why? You know, why even fucking bother? So, um, but everybody's fucking going off about sexism and fucking people don't like it. And I don't know exactly what's going on, but I'm from inferring from listening that the female that was in the trailer, I saw a, a fraction of the trailer on like a fucking, a loop reel fucking gif on, uh, on Twitter, that the female, it's actually, it's the stories about the Brits, uh, and she's on the front lines, and I don't know about you, but I'm 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 eighty percent sure that there were, were very little. There were spies. There were female spies. There was a lot of female spies, and uh, the British, the British had fucking the French had a lot of females. There are stories to be told uh, in World War Two. Uh, from the, the female side of things. And I don't think there's any need to fucking throw a female in a story that that she's not necessarily going to be in. There are a ton of stories. I saw one lady tweet that her her mother was... Uh, her mother was... Um, what is it? I don't want to say it wrong. Uh, her mother was... Her grandmother, not her mother. <laughs> her grandmother was in Greece and they gave her rifle and she fought basically guerrilla style up in the mountains uh, against a, the Italian fucking uh, the Italians and the fucking Germans and th their allies so there are stories there were the, the fucking Russians don't, didn't give a shit because Stalin was a piece of shit uh, there were female snipers um, there were spies like I said plenty of female spies uh, especially in the French. The French had plenty of female spies who, who helped out fucking the Allied units, gave them shelter, distracted, fucking did shit that, you know, most people would fucking rather die than fucking do in order to protect uh, information and to help, to, help, uh, to help out the cause. So there are stories to... Uh, there are stories... That could be told from from that side of things, and I don't think there's any need to add a fucking female into the to a place where maybe a female would most likely not be. When there are plenty of great stories to be told. Um, what else? Uh, Black Ops being only multiplayer. I don't give a shit. Haven't bought uh, haven't bought a fucking Call of Duty since Call of Duty Two. Um, what else? Uh, fucking PlayStation 5 probably coming out in 2021. Uh, I think a lot of people really wanted it to come out in 2020, but I just... It doesn't make any financial sense for Sony to fucking rush it out. 2020, I don't know. Uh, a lot of people think RAM prices are a problem. Uh, they're not a problem. Um, the problem is that, uh, the manufacturers, the chip manufacturers, the people who make the actual chips, they're selling most of their stuff to enterprise. Uh, and they're selling less of their stuff to fucking, uh, chip makers like PNY and shit like that, uh, that you buy your RAM sticks from. So when you hear somebody say, um, oh, RAM prices are out of control, that's why... It's not going to be feasible for uh, for Microsoft or Sony. That's not a problem. They'll be ordering, if if we're talking about 16 megs of RAM at least, it, you, you're talking about at least 8 chips times, what do you want, 2, 3 million fucking orders, if not more, um, 5 million. So you're ordering a fucking a massive amount of RAM. Uh, they're not going to pay that much more than they're not going to pay that much, and they're going to get a fucking a lion's share of a wafer. Um, so I don't think that's a big problem. 
Uh, it's probably going to be GDDR6. Uh, so that's why I think it's 2021 is a pretty good idea. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know why people, 2020 just doesn't make sense right now. Not with 7 nanometers just, just now. Uh, looking like it's going to become feasible next year, uh, then you've got you've got to get through the fucking the issues with GDR6 is going to start next year towards the end probably significantly seven nanometers probably the middle to end next year so you're running in 2020. Um, do you do you go with Zen 2 or do you wait for Zen 3? Are you going with Navi? Are you going with uh, with Vega? at a seven nanometers uh so if you go 2020 you're going with vega you're you're going seven nanometers maybe uh it'll probably be more expensive than if you had waited till 2021 you're probably going with zen 2 apus rather than zen 3 apus um gddr6 is going to be eh, kind of you know more expensive hopefully um, if you wait till 2021, 20, you're hopefully you, GDR6 fucking yields are better. Seven nanometer yields are better. Um, it, it makes a lot more sense. 2021 makes a lot more sense financially for these companies. And I think releasing based on a fucking anniversary is stupid. So I don't believe that shit. The anniversary stuff is dumb. Um, what else? Uh, trying to think what else uh state of decay i haven't been able to play it uh fucking shit i downloaded it but then i passed out uh a lot of fucking uh, wife is gone so i'll be probably playing a lot of it this weekend seven o'clock central standard time i'm doing a podcast even if i have to do it alone uh the guy said at least keely is going to be there hopefully uh so we'll be good at least two people will be on. Hopefully everybody will be on. If not, who gives a fuck? I'm doing a podcast. Um, and then I'm playing some State of Decay. Well, I'll have to do a podcast. The other podcast afterwards. But playing State of Decay, hopefully this morning. Or uh, this this morning. It's the morning of fucking Friday. Uh, the 25th. So I'll be hopefully playing it this afternoon. Uh, with the other guys. Some co-op. Keely lives right, basically right down the road as far as fucking connecting on the internet is concerned. Um, so hopefully we'll get some games to play. Uh, hopefully I'll get to play with some of the other guys and uh, we won't totally fuck each other over. So uh, tons of shit came out. Tons of shit came out. Uh, rumors of fucking Xbox Live going free. I don't believe that shit. Wouldn't surprise me if they could find Game Pass and Xbox Live, it's kind of like platinum service or or some shit like that. Um, off the top of my head, that's it. That's all you think about. Uh, I know there's a fucking shit ton more. Um, I'm, I got the Game Informer, which is dumb. Uh, one of the things that I always fucking hate, I always hate this. Uh, when you see, we don't, as a, as a gamer, um, uh, when the, what I want from the people who develop the games that I play is that they hire the best possible people, regardless of gender, fucking sexuality, if they're a fucking alien, I don't give a fuck. Hire the best people. If that means that you only have three chicks, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about them. <laughs> I care about the product they make as a consumer and when I read stuff like you've got to have diversity I don't want diversity for diversity's sake if you're making a game that has the point of view of a female uh, then it is logical that you need females in order to give you that 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 uh, that kind of diversity you need it right if you're writing and there's a female character who's important to the story or even if she's a major part of the story. Uh, you need that perspective. You need people in there that'll tell you, you know, this is this is not fucking it. The, your, your voice actors may say something, but, you know, they may not. Um, 
they just come in there, collect the check, speak the line, and fucking leave, right? <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, so that's how I feel about it. Hire the best people. If the, if it's a if it's fucking all women and three men, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> right? If the game is good, the game is good. Uh, don't insert shit that doesn't need to be in there. If the story is about if you're writing if you're fucking making a game and the story is about an, a, a, a grandmother, a old lady who's telling her daughter the story about when she was uh, fighting in World War II in the mountains of Greece. That's great. And if it's good, we'll play it. And we won't give a fuck that it's told from the story of a, a scared woman who was handed a gun and told to go into the mountains and fight the fucking the Nazis and the, and the, and the Italianos and the, whatever the hell they called themselves off the top of my head. I'm getting too old. I can't remember all that shit anymore. Um, just fucking make shit that's fun. That's all we want. We want to be entertained and we want good experiences. Um, and whether that experience is made by a man or woman doesn't fucking matter to us. Doesn't fucking matter. Uh, what does matter is when you shoehorn shit in for the sake of it just being in there. I know it pisses some people off, um, but that's how I feel. Fucking bullshit. Don't add shit for the shit of for the sake of adding shit. Just fucking um, make something that's good. Okay, that's all we need. Shit that's good. Doesn't matter if, if it's fucking an all female team or an all male team. As long as you didn't go in with that purpose. If, the, if you didn't go in and say, all right, we're not going to ha hire any women or we're not going to hire any men. As long as you don't go in with that thought process, you go in, we're going to hire the best people and we don't give a shit what the fuck their skin color is, their sexual orientation. And if uh, a man is better than a woman or a woman is better than a man, then we'll hire that person, the best person that we can hire. And uh, all the other shit is bullshit. That's it I got to say. This thing's gone on for almost 13 minutes, so I'm going to peace out of you guys. Um, have a fantastic rest of the night.